You know, I'm at this age now where all my friends are either getting married or they're having babies. And I am just here with a four day old pizza in the fridge looking for my eye masks. Cheers. We have a lot of catching up to do, which I will do in a second. But first, let's go ahead and make this is so nice and cold. Make some breakfast. I have a confession to make. So I initially wanted to make these with turkey, but they rarely have turkey mints in the Netherlands and I don't have a meat grinder. So I went with chicken instead and I started off by cutting up the ingredients, green onion, basil, ginger, and some garlic. I mix it in with the turkey, no, with the chicken mints. And then I also added some soy sauce, a little bit of pepper, some onion powder, and some parmesan and a egg and just mix everything give it a good stir and then make patties and then i just bake them until done and i always make more so i can either prep the rest for maybe tomorrow or i use it for dinner as i did today i also decided to make some eggs to have next to the turkey patties and then it was a matter of making up the plate and breakfast was ready to go Okay, so everything is ready. I have the patties, the other ones are still in the pan and I'm going to use them tonight, so I'm saving them. And then I have some, I don't know what the word is in English, but it's called kiemgroente in Dutch. Half of an avocado, I have some para nuts and some walnuts and then two eggs. So as you can see, it's pretty high in protein and fats, which is usually how I prefer to start my day, just because it makes me feel the best. I turned 30 a couple of weeks ago and honestly it's been really interesting. So I always knew that I really really love to focus on my business, on work, on my app. It just it's my biggest passion and it brings me so much joy. Every single one of my friends, no exceptions, is focusing on settling down and they're absolutely thriving so i love that for them but it does put this narrative in my head that i know is not my narrative but that's not my problem my problem is the fact that there are people in my environment who put pressure on me and even though they might say things as like a joke or it's just something that they sometimes bring up but with no expectations, like they'll say it. Being pressured that way is new territory to me. And I'm not sure if this is something that other people can relate to, but I think that a lot of us struggle with feeling pressured to do certain things or to go into certain directions with our life. And my favorite quote is always and forever, that you shouldn't take advice from people who aren't living your dream life because they don't know what it takes to get there. They don't know what you're truly passionate about, what you want to achieve. So don't necessarily take their, like respectfully, but don't necessarily just take their advice if you are in a position to do so. For me, I just really love being an aunt. <laughs> I think it's the best job in the world and I love being able to focus on work and on my business. It just brings me so much pleasure and joy and I feel like I've truly been so grateful to be put in this position where I can show people how to elevate their life by going to the gym because to me going to the gym it's not like the end goal it's always been the foundation taking care of yourself so you can have more energy and and have more energy to do the things that you are actually passionate about and just live your best life possible being able to do things that hopefully inspire other women. It's been my greatest pleasure. So I just love focusing on it fully. It's been interesting to seeing this story unfold now that I'm 30. And as I said, I've only been 30 for like two weeks, but I don't know, it feels different. Talking about business, I have a few things that I really, really have to update you on and I'm so excited for it. So first thing, I'm reading this book, it's called Buy Back Your Time and it basically says that if you wanna scale your business, instead of hiring people that have an expertise that is outside of you, try to hire people that allow you to buy back your time. So I was thinking like what takes the most time for me like what do I struggle with most what are the areas that I lack in the most 
what is holding me back? Like all those questions. And then I realized for me, I, I, I have so many ideas and things that I want to put out to help other people, but it's just been an issue or struggle. I've just been struggling with finding the place and the, and the calmness to do so. But that will change April 1st. So that will be really, really exciting. And I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm sure you can already guess what I'm like referring to. But basically it will allow me to be able to film as much as I want and do anything the way that I want because it will be my own, which is so crazy. Then another opportunity that I'm so excited to fill you in on is that I'm now the newest women's best ambassador. And the reason why I am so excited for this is because being an ambassador means that I will listen to your feedback and I will actually collaborate with the women's best teams to help develop the best products for you guys. And that will help you to support you and your fitness journey and your day-to-day -day life. So, I mean, did someone say sportswear? Because I think, I think I heard that word. If you have any ideas or any feedback or any items that you're missing, let me know. Because without your support over the years, it wouldn't have happened. So I'm so grateful. It's been a crazy journey and I'm so, so excited for this new chapter, basically. That was my little guy ready with me. I'm now going to do some work at the office and then I'll go back home and make lunch and then go to the gym. For lunch, I decided to make spring rolls and I started off by attempting to shred chicken with the mixer but the chicken was cooked before it's super easy to shred it like this but make sure you have a cover and then you soak a rice paper in lukewarm water just a couple of seconds be very gentle with it you don't want to rip it and then add your favorite toppings i use rice vermicelli and then obviously the chicken and some vegetables and you'll be proud of me i also added cilantro so i've been eating it more to basically get used to the taste and here is the finished product we have lunch spring rolls usually i make like a sauce with it but i couldn't be bothered now so i just have some soy sauce and then i'm heading out to go to the gym as always we're going to start with a warm-up i'm doing five minutes on the stairs and then after i'm going to move on to warm-up exercises if you don't have the stairs that's absolutely fine you can use any equipment so the goal of a warm-up is basically to prep your body and to prep your your joints and to prep your mind also for the workout that is ahead it reduces the chance of injury so whatever you can do to basically get your heart rate up a bit and just get ready to start training and also you might find that you need more than five minutes maybe you need 10 minutes just make sure that you don't actually fatigue yourself to warm up my shoulders i'm starting with the banded shoulders dislocate where i put tension on the resistance band by pulling it apart and then i'm rolling my hands back and forth or my arms back and forth you want to do this really controlled and slow and then i'm transitioning into the band pull apart where i maintain that tension on the band and then i pull it apart even further and this is really great for again warming up the shoulders but also the rear delts which is part of your shoulder the next thing that we're doing is warming up our neck i always do this at jiu-jitsu and it's really intense even though it looks so easy <laughs> but basically the main thing that you want to make sure is that you really press your lower back on the floor on the ground by flexing your abs and pulling your belly button in and then what we're going to do is basically move our neck around now if you feel like you need to put your head down or if it doesn't feel right then don't continue this is what i'm doing so basically i move my head up and down and i don't put it back on the ground and i'm doing eight acht and then i'm going to move my ear to my shoulder acht and then side to side and I'm going to focus on warming up my wrists. Okay, we're almost ready to start the real work, but what we're going to do first is hang, and then we're going to pull ourselves up slightly. And one more to six. Perfect, so now I'm all primed and ready 
for the real deal. Okay, we're going to do the first set and my goal is to make them look as clean as possible. wasn't able to do a single pull up or chin up and I really wanted to build my strength in order to do one then this is how I would go about it. So I would perform the eccentric part only or the negative part of a movement which for the pull up or the chin up is the part of the movement where you are lowering yourself okay so not where you're pulling yourself up but just where you're lowering yourself. The reason why I would focus on this part of the movement is because you're much stronger during the eccentric phase of an exercise compared to the concentric phase of an exercise so it's a really good way of overloading and building strength so what I would do is I would either climb up or jump up and then just focus on the part where you are lowering yourself and perform it as slowly as you can you really want to make it yourself difficult here okay so every like the full range of motion just try to go as slowly as you can and really fight the urge of just like letting go and then once you're at the bottom, you climb up again. So you don't perform the concentric part, just the eccentric part. And then if you can do a couple of reps, anywhere between like probably three to six, and then a couple of sets, a couple of times per week, next to just building your general upper body strength. And then I'm sure you'll be able to get there pretty soon. And then once you're able to do one of them, it's much easier to get to the second one and the third one. And then you'll probably hit a plateau again, because that's me. <laughs> also, if you want to focus on gaining strength, then make sure that you start with that exercise, okay? Because you really want to utilize all the energy that you have in order to build up strength. So maybe every upper body workout that you have, start with that and then continue with the rest which is why I start with pull-ups. On to the next one. I am going to do a back off set for aesthetic reasoning, just because I was in the lower rep ranges with the pull-ups. So now I'm going to do a lap pull-down, which mimics the movement, but then in a hypertrophy rep range. Okay, since that was our vertical pull, there is only one right answer for what we're going to train next, and that is shoulders to do a vertical push. Now, obviously, this is not something that you have to do, but I always really like to balance my training. When you're doing a shoulder press, always make sure to keep your elbows in in order to protect them and don't have them all the way flat out to the side. Also, it really helps me. I'm so much stronger when I really focus on pressing my heels and my feet into the ground. So instead of just basically not using your lower body to create any tension, you want to make sure that every single fiber in your body is tense so you can really generate that effort and then push it into the movement and basically throw the weights up. I feel like it really makes a difference whenever I'm doing any upper body exercise, but especially when I'm doing like a shoulder press or a bench press or even a push up, like you really just want to make sure that everything is really tense and generating power. I am ready for set number two and I always make sure to guide the weight up with my leg just because this movement is a little bit awkward so if you do it incorrectly then you might get an injury which is such a shame if you I mean it's such a shame if you get it regardless but especially when you're not even performing the movement so always make sure that you guide the weight up neutral spine creating tension in every single fiber of my body and then pressing the weight up
Next up, you probably already guessed it, we're doing a bent over barbell row, a horizontal pull. And I'm going to do a supinated grip. And then what you wanna make sure is that you keep your core really tight and that you pull the bar towards your belly button. to change this into a superset because we just did the horizontal pull and now I'm going to transition into a horizontal push. It's really good to combine those exercises or it's easy to do just because every muscle that I'm using for the horizontal pull can now actively rest as I'm doing the horizontal push and vice versa. So it doesn't really harm my progress with the row when I'm doing the push. What I'm doing is a weighted push-up because I want to get stronger at them, so I'm adding a weight. I'm going to isolate my shoulders by doing lateral raises, which is my favorite one for these side delts. So as you can see, I try to go very slow and controlled, which is a theme in my workouts, in case you haven't noticed it yet. Slow and controlled is the way to go. And I try to lead with my elbows, so not with my hands like this, but I really try to make sure that I put my elbows up and out. I'm going to do some face pulls to isolate my rear delts, and then I'm doing some arms, and then we're done for today. But the cable is at eye level. Final exercise for today are the tricep dips. I'm doing this one not because I really wanna isolate my triceps and I don't wanna isolate my biceps. As I said, usually I keep everything quite balanced. However, I am doing this with the aim of getting stronger. So I'll be performing them in the lower rep ranges again. Basically just wrapping out my max and see what I have. I never go to technical failure, like, being that my form breaks down because again increases the risk of injury usually i stay like one or two reps away from it but that is the point where my mind is like okay we're done for today so that's like mental failure i go to mental failure <laughs> That was it for today's workout. We did a full upper body session, which felt great. So now it is time to go home and make some dinner. You know those evenings where you don't feel like cooking, you don't know what you're going to make, but you still want a homemade meal? I have the perfect recipe for you, which is a pasta bake. A baked pasta just elevates the entire experience of having a pasta. If you have guests for dinner and you bake the pasta, they will be impressed, you know, and it only takes a couple of minutes extra. It's so easy. It's, it's basically the same as just making a regular pasta, but what you would do is you would stop cooking the pasta noodles a couple minutes shy before the package instructions because it will still continue to cook in the oven and then you would just make your pasta as you normally would right so for me i i used just a tomato sauce added some onion a um, couple of spices some protein but you can also just use a regular store-bought pasta sauce and just use it heat it up add a protein if you want to but then the best step is when you put everything together in a baking dish with the noodles and then you add your cheese like you can go ham with this you can pick any cheese you want you can add mozzarella you can add cheddar cheese i added burrata cheese i hope i pronounced it correctly and then you just put it in the oven or i think i put it in there for 20 minutes or so and just 
the wait until all the spices and flavor is fully combined and melted and that the pasta noodles are crunchy. I'm editing and I saw that I did not end the vlog, which is a beginner mistake. So this is the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and subscribe so you won't miss the next episode of the Wellness Diaries.